Will a high-end racing pedal set make you a better driver? Let's slow down and take a look. So last month I asked the question, will a high-end racing wheel make you a better driver? And one of the more common responses was, I believe a high-end set of pedals might make you a better driver. So I wanted to investigate a little bit into that and share some of what I found. So for this example, I have the Thrustmaster T3PA pedals as the low to mid-range pedal set, and I have the Fanatic Club Sport pedal V3s as my high end. Now, there are the extreme end pedals, but these are a very solid set of mid-high end pedals, and it's a good fit for this comparison. So, First off, one of the things I wanted to say is that you can drastically affect car handling through your footwork and through the pedals. That is a principle that is taught in many racing schools, that there is just as much going into the handling of a car from the pedals as through the wheel. So with that being said, a good set of pedals will make a large difference. And one of the things I wanted to mention is it really does come down to two elements, the brake pedal and the pedal's throw. So first off, I wanted to talk about the brake pedal. And for the Thrustmaster T3PA and for most entry to mid level pedals, they will be measured with a potentiometer and that measures how far the pedal goes. So the further down you press the pedal, the more braking force is applied. Now, this is a good system for the gas and the clutch, but when it comes down to a brake pedal, there is some sort of suspension of disbelief that is required for this, because in a real car, you're gonna be measuring by pressure, not by distance. The harder you press the brake in a real car is the faster the car slows down. What Thrustmaster has done to alleviate that problem is you have this conical brake mod. It is made out of rubber. So you'll have a feeling that is similar to a real car brake because it is artificially adding a pressure-based system. When it's all said and done, you're still going to have a distance-based brake system, but you are going to have a simulated feel of pressure. So this does work in a pinch, but I just feel that it doesn't replace a real car pressure-based system. So now let's go to the Fanatic Club Sport pedals. These are one of the best sub $300 pedals you can buy. And this uses a load cell system. What a load cell is, is it converts pressure into a figure. So think of it almost as similar to a weight scale. And you are standing on the scale, it is analyzing your weight and then turning it into a tangible number. These pedals work in a similar fashion. So the harder you press on a brake, the more you will feel it. And this does a good job of that. It does a good job of modulating pressure. Some of the benefits of a load cell based brake versus a potentiometer based brake is that you are likely going to have a better ability to get into that threshold braking zone. You're able to get a better feel of when those tires are just about to lock up and you are able to ride that fine line a little better. And that is ultimately what differentiates a high end set of pedals from a lower end is how you are able to get those subtle nuances in. As I mentioned, the second part of a high-end pedal is an increased pedal throw. 
So let's stick these side by side. And if you look, the pedal throw for a Thrustmaster is, it's okay, but there is much to be desired. With the Fanatic pedals, you get a longer throw. And what happens because of that is you are able to roll onto the throttle that much more. You're able to get that little bit more finesse out of your driving, and that can make a massive difference. Also, the springs in these pedals, in the lower end pedals, they are pretty weak. But when you have a stronger spring in the pedals, there's more resistance. It feels more like a real life car and you are able to modulate it. You're able to finesse it, get that extra 10th of a second more out of those corners. And that can make the huge difference in your racing. So with that being said, what I would say differentiates a high end set of pedals from a mid to low end, it's A, the brake. A load cell will beat a potentiometer very often, but there is a sense of confidence that you can have in these pedals, you can have in these pedals, you can have in a Driving Force GT set. Once you get comfortable with a set of pedals, then that will make you a better driver. Confidence makes the driver, and if you have the confidence in this set of pedals, great. If you have confidence in this set of pedals, awesome. If you have confidence in a set of DFGT pedals, more power to you. But if you're looking for that more realism, if you're looking for that similarity to a real life vehicle, then I highly recommend you look into a pedal set with a load cell brake. You are able to get rid of that suspension of disbelief of having to measure your distance on the brake and move to a pedal set where you're able to use a pressure-based system. And that will make a massive difference. And I believe it will make you a better driver because you are drawing from your experience driving a real car and transferring it into the virtual world. So now I'd like to hear your thoughts. Do you think a high-end set of pedals can make you a better driver? Let us know in the comments. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button down below and keep us on track. Also, check out simracingpaddock.com so you can stay in the know on the latest going on in sim racing. For the Sim Racing Paddock, I'm William Marsh, and you have a great rest of your day.